Hi everyone, welcome back to Spoilt Russian Bees. I am Juliet and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this wonderful opera length continuous super duo chain necklace that I'm wearing. I'm really loving it, especially with these colours. It's just gorgeous. And let me just take it off and show it to you nice and close up. Um, it's really, really pretty. <laughs> it's just got this lovely array of colours here and it's nice and easy to make so if you're a beginner you're just starting out your beading journey then this is a really nice project to start off with it is available on our website as a free downloadable pattern and also as some limited edition kits in this lovely ombre colorway using the gorgeous powdery super duo colors so um click on the link and follow that and you'll be able to download the pattern or grab yourself a kit um, continue watching and i'm going to show you how to um, start and then also how to finish off your necklace with like a little seamless join so that you'll never know where you started and finished um, so do leave your comments below as well because we love to hear what you're all saying and what you're all making as well and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because it really does help us to make more beading videos as well so this is a close-up of the lovely super duo ombre necklace it's just stunning and it's really easy to make as well and we've got this gorgeous variety of these powdery super duos here in a really really lovely array of colors so you just need to make this you just need super duo beads and size 15 seed beads and you could either use a toho size 15s we're using one of my favorite colors here which is galvanized starlight which is a gorgeous kind of soft gold let me show that to you in the packet there. It's really, really pretty. Um, and then we've got this lovely kind of rainbow effect or ombre effect of the super duos here. You could just make it in one color if you prefer. You don't have to do the ombre. It's very, very easy to make. I'm gonna guide you through each step of the way you could make it shorter and put a clasp on it if you like but i've made this really nice and long it's an opera length necklace so you can knot it um, which i think is really kind of a fun addition here and just wear it long over a jumper or a dress or a t-shirt really makes your outfit um, and i'm going to show you how to kind of join the two ends up as well um, but if you want to add a clasp then you know that's going to be super easy for you to do as well so i'm going to clear off my beading space and i'm going to lay out my beads and then I'm going to show you guys how to get started how to um and then how to finally how to finish off by joining the two ends of the necklace together there okay so this is all of the gorgeous colors of super duos that I have used to make the lovely ombre necklace you get all of these colors when you buy the kit from us at spoilt rotten beads and you get enough beads to make a lovely opera length or 90 centimeter long length necklace You'll also get your size 15 um, Toho seed beads in the lovely galvanized starlight. You don't get needle and thread, so you will need to supply those. And I'm going to be using a size 10 beading needle and fireline thread here today. And you will need to just um, join thread on as you go. So what you want to do is start off by threading your needle with the longest length of thread that you are happy working with. Um, don't worry, it won't be enough to finish the whole project. So you'll need to just join thread on by knotting um, to your existing thread and just carry on beading as you go. And you need to finish off, sorry, stop finish off, start off. <laughs> You need to start off by picking up one of your first colour of your Super Duo beads. Now, it's really up to you which order you put your beads in. I've kind of done, gone for this effect here, but, you know, it's up to you. You choose your colour, what works for you. So pick up one of your size, um, your, your Super Duo beads and bring it down towards your tail of thread. And then you want to pick up three of your size 15 beads. Okay, and then go back through the other hole in that same super duo bead. Okay, and those 15s will sit around the outside of the super duo like that. And now what you want to do is knot your working thread, this is my working thread, to my tail of thread, this is my tail of thread here. And you want to leave a kind of a decent length of tail of thread because you'll use that later on, possibly when you join up with the um, other side of the, of the necklace. So I'm just gonna tie 
a, a knot here and then another knot on top of it. And I like to tie a double knot, so I go and go through my loop twice like that and then pull tight. Okay. And you will end up with something that looks like that. Okay. And now you're ready to add your next bead. So take my needle and I'm going to pick up another super duo bead and then three more size 15 beads and once more go through the empty hole in that super duo and pull tight and then you just want to pull it tight I'll get my fingers out of the way in a moment pull it tight so that it's sitting up against that first super duo and you'll find it will naturally do that it will naturally sit with the two sort of backs facing each other which if I bring the necklace back into shot you'll see that that is how the super duos sit along the length of the necklace there so they will sit like that naturally which is wonderful so you don't need to do anything special at all to get them to do that and you want to continue doing that with that same colour until you've used 14 beads and when you've used 14 of this colour, the first colour, then you move on to the next colour. That's the number that you're going to need if you want to um, make a 90 centimetre long necklace. Um, and you'll want to do that twice. So you'll do each colour twice and uh, with a total of 14 beads um, for each colour. And that is going to make a 90 centimetre long necklace. So I've picked up my next Super Duo and three size 15s. Go through the other hole in the super duo and then pull it tight and the beads will naturally sit like that. You can just see just how super easy this is. It's really, really simple to do <clears throat> because the beads just sit exactly where you want them to. So you just carry on now adding your beads. As I say, it's going to be 14 of each colour twice. And that is what's going to make you a 90 centimetre long necklace there. Um, but it's entirely up to you. If you want to do all one colour, then that will be fine. If I just grab my calculator, I can work out how many beads in total um, it's going to be. So that's how many colours have I got here? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got eleven colours. Um, so you're going to need a total of 308 Super Duo beads there. Um, and that's what's going to make you your nice 90 centimetre long necklace. So I'm just going to continue beading now until I am ready to join the two ends of my necklace together. And then I am going to show you guys how to do that. Okay, so I have been beading for a little while now and my piece is ready to join. Um, this is where I started and this is where I'm ending and I'm gonna join these two ends together. Now, the most important thing you need to do is straighten out your necklace and make sure that it's not twisted because you really don't want to join it together with a twist in the necklace because that would be annoying. But once you've done that, you just need to line up the two ends of the necklace together like so and it's actually really easy to see where I'm going to go because I'm coming out of this last super duo here and I'm going to go through the first super duo there and the three 15s that are on top of it okay so I just zoom my camera in if I can there we go so you can see how they're just going to slot together perfectly just don't just make sure that it's not twisted before you start so if I pull that together now, you'll see they kind of look like they're joined already, but they're not. And now I'm going to go through these three 15s, down through this super duo, down through this super duo here. And at that, sorry, actually, I'm going to go through, yeah, I'm going to go through those 15s, down through this super duo, um, and then we'll be able to join it to the one below. So I'm going to go through these two size 15s there and down through that same super duo but the next hole and then the super duo below it. 
as well. And you might need to do this just one at a time. There. And then I'm going to go through this Super Duo here. And the 15s that are on top of that as well. Pull tight. Okay, so now I'm going to go through those two Super Duos. And at this stage, I'm just going to finish off this thread. So I'm going to hook my thread underneath the thread that runs between the Super Duo, the Super Duo and the 15. And that creates a little loop. I can then go through the loop with my needle and pull tight. And do that again. So I'm tying another knot on top of that first knot. And then I can pull that knot inside the next few beads there and if you want to you can repeat that process doing that again just hooking down underneath the thread make sure you stay between the right beads there so i want to be between that super duo and that first 15 there sometimes your thread tries to do something funky go through the loop that you made and keeping it all in the right spot. This thread just wants to flip over the top and I don't want it to do that. So I'm just going to position it correctly with my needle and then just hold it there with my thumb and forefinger. Okay, and that's my last knot there. Okay, um, and now I can remove the needle from this thread here. I don't need that anymore. And then this is the tail of thread that we left right at the beginning that I said, don't leave it too short because you're going to need to add a needle to it. And you can add a needle to this thread. It's always tricky threading a needle on camera. I don't know why I do it really. I should stop the camera, shouldn't I? And then thread the needle, but hey, can I do this? Or am I going to need to stop the camera there we go okay there we are so I've threaded the needle onto the tail of thread that we left right at the beginning and I can just repeat that that, that what we did with that working thread which is still there and go through go through the next few beads until I get to the brown beads there and join it on Let's get that out of the way there. So I'm going to go through the 15s and then down through that blue super duo and then through the brown one below it. There you go. And the 15s that are over the top of that brown one too. And that is how you join the two ends of the necklace together there. And once again, I can hook my needle through the, underneath the bead, the, sorry, the bead, the thread that runs between two beads, create a loop, go through the loop, that creates a knot. And then pull that knot inside the next bead. And just repeat that again. So I'm just going under the thread that runs between those two super duos. That creates a loop. Go through that loop and pull that knot tight. And I can just repeat that one more time. I like to just do a knot on top of that first one there. There we go. And then pull that knot inside that next bead and pull tight and that is my two ends joined together perfectly seamlessly in fact and I've got my two tails of thread which I can now trim off and there is my lovely opera length continuous super duo chain all finished and ready to wear and you'd never know where I started and finished 
let me just zoom back out there there we go you can see it all in its glory really really pretty so i do hope you enjoyed watching this video tutorial please do click on the link in the description and head over to our website where you'll be able to download the free pattern and pick up a kit as well thanks for watching bye bye